Hello YouTube, Jim Baker here, your favorite international tax accountant. And today I'm in my office freezing. That's why I have a hoodie on, less professional, I'm sorry. But today I'm talking about sales taxes. I have a caller from Northern Iraq, it seems, and he's doing drop shipping and he needed, he wants some clarification about how sales taxes work and who it pays to. And we go into a little bit more detail than I usually go into. And I think you will really enjoy the call. It's not super long. You'll be in and out before your eggs finish cooking. Okay, let's go to the call. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. 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 Hello, sorry about that. Hello. No, I'm okay. sorry. No, that's cool. I was finishing lunch and I thought you left. So I let you in and I was put my stuff away and I'm back. Oh, no, it's okay. Hello, Mr. James. How are you? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm good. So, Z, 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 Zirian. Zirian. Zirian, yeah. Zirian, yes, sir. okay. Yes, sir. From, so, I, from Iraq. Nice to meet you. Yes. Nice to meet you, too. I'm from Kurdistan. Kurdistan is the northern part of Iraq. It's not okay. basically Arab. Yes, Kurds we are. Well, never been over there. But I've talked to some, some people from over there, and I'm happy to talk to you today. How can I help you today? Can you tell me a little bit about your situation and what's going well, on? And I'll try and answer your questions. Okay, so, well, I was going to uh, register for an LLC in Wyoming. I had, uh, as you know, everyone out of the US has problems of taxes because we don't know the taxes, tax procedures in there. Yeah, and I was going to, for drop shipping. My supply is in China, so I'm drop shipping uh, products in China to worldwide actually. But I had a few questions when uh, some of uh, someone in United States buy some uh, something from me. Will I text? How are you? How are you selling? Are you selling via like Shopify or, or your own website? Via yes, via Shopify, via website. Yes. Okay, how much how, how much have you sold so far? Like, when did you start selling? About a month ago, actually. About a month ago, yes. It's doing okay till now. Almost, uh, not that good, but it's okay for, so far. Oh, you're, yeah. you're new. You're, just, you're only a month in. So, uh, if you're doing everything um, drop shipping and you and you have nothing in the United States, then you wouldn't have any income tax exposure, but you would have to. Uh, potentially pay sales taxes and you should look for the tax jar integration or some other sales tax integration that you can use to um, to help you with sales taxes when you're required if you're just starting you probably have no requirement yet but you will soon yes so in Wyoming as I've read uh, Wyoming doesn't have sales tax right it doesn't well Wyoming I, I'm not sure if Wyoming has sales taxes but Sales taxes are where your customers are. So if you have, it doesn't matter if you have a Wyoming LLC, if you sell to people in, in Michigan or Florida, then you will have to pay sales taxes to Michigan and Florida. There was a chart actually of the states, how are they uh, taxing people? Some of them based on their location, destination, and the other states were uh, no sales tax. Wyoming was one of them. New Hampshire was one of them. And I think Delaware was one of them too. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not sure about which the rule, sales tax rules for every state, but uh, <clears throat> that's fine. If you, if you don't, if you have, if you only sell to customers in Wyoming, then you have no sales taxes to pay if Wyoming doesn't impose a sales tax. Uh, you need to review the rules as to the products you're selling and then also uh, the quantities in each state. Most states adopt uh, rules more or less where if you sell over 200 items or over $100,000 in sales in the state, then you have economic nexus and you have to start filing uh, sales tax returns and collecting and paying sales taxes to those states. Okay, but in one of your uh, videos on, you were talking about an Egyptian girl. She was on Amazon. She was going to sell on Amazon. I 
that video and you said that she won't be taxed because she's not a resident in United States and something like that, like that. I am not a resident in there. So, my so Amazon, in China. Amazon collects and pays sales taxes for all of its clients um, from, from my understanding and Shopify doesn't. So you have to, you have to do that proactively. You have to install a tool on Shopify to collect and pay the sales taxes. Mm. But neither of, neither of you would have to pay income taxes because there's income taxes based on your net profit, your sales minus your expenses, which is your profit and you pay income tax. So you don't have to pay that. <clears throat> but sales taxes is just, it's not a tax you have to pay. It's a, ta it's a tax you collect and then remit. So when you sell a pair of shoes to somebody, you just have to charge that extra 7%. And then when you get that 7%, it's different. The percentage is different in every state, but when you collect it, then you have to send it to the state. That's why using tools uh, makes it easier. And, and for now, you probably have no sales tax to file if you're just getting started. Yes. One, one thing I don't understand, Jenny. Wyoming doesn't have sales tax. What should I collect? You, it doesn't, it, it's, it, it depends on where your consumers are. Wherever you're shipping the things to is where you pay sales taxes. Oh, so the tools... Uh, I will be downloading on my website. They will collect it based on each state, right? It's, each state is percentage of tax. Well, that's why you need some kind of tool or integration into your Shopify because uh, when, when you're required, right now it's not that important if you literally just started and you don't have that much sales. But when as you as you scale, that's what you need to look out for because it's it's based on shipping. It's based on the location of the buyer. So if you ship all of your stuff to Wyoming, there's no problem, but you probably are selling to people in all, all, all over the, the United States and all kinds of different States. I imagine. Yes. Yes. Wyoming exactly. is, the, Wyoming is, I think Wyoming is the least populated state in the country. It has the least amount of people. So you probably have a low amount of sales in Wyoming. No, no, I'm going to sell to United States and worldwide too, not just United States. Yeah. So, <clears throat> be worldwide, yeah. so with your United States sales and, you just need to know about sales taxes. Just like in Europe, you need to know about VAT, VAT taxes and see if those potentially apply. Yes. So for Amazon to uh, this, how am I going to be uh, taxed? Uh, as you said before, Amazon is going to uh, collect the taxes uh, or I will. From my understanding, when you sell on Amazon, they would they would uh, pay the sales taxes on their own. They would do it that way. So they, they basically collect and send it to the state without you having to do it. It's just included in the process. Mm, that's good. That's good. Um, so uh, I think that's it. Uh, which uh, tool do you recommend for this <clears throat> uh, Shopify? For tax, uh, tax tax jar, if TaxJar has a tool, <laughs> It, that's, that's probably good. They have a really good uh, online, uh, they have a really good website, really good interface. I probably, they probably have a good tool. I, I don't know. I haven't sold on Shopify in a long time. Yes. Well, that's good. I should, so, get, I should get like a, a, a tax jar affiliate tool, right? And promote it to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you should do. Hmm. So uh, the tax um, file, annual filing there so this should be added from the uh, date of uh, that i'm created uh, my LLC. i file it so if i'm uh, if i registered an LLC in december october let's say so next year in 2021 october i should file them uh, or in wyoming i think that's when you would pay for your renewal of your of your company your your annual report the ta that's not a tax filing, though. That's like an administrative state filing. The tax filing with the IRS is due on April 15th, and that's the Form 5472 um, that goes with the Pro Forma 1120. Yes, Form 5472. I have a number of videos on the channel about it. I, I should at least. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> Yeah, I will definitely watch them. Yeah. Okay, and so, uh, and uh, the this was the, all my great. Well, I'm, I hope I hope it was helpful. Yeah. I give you a little bit of clarity. Thanks for watching the channel and liking all the videos, and let us know if you need any help. Yeah. Uh,
making things easier. If you need a, if you want to save some time, start making a lot of money, need some uh, additional help, let us know. So uh, thank you very much. It was actually very helpful no, about that uh, collecting taxes of each state. You've made it clear for me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day then. Thank you. Have a great day too. Bye. Bye. So that call went really well. Uh, I still, I'm going to butcher his name. Is it Zyron? It just looks different than the way it said Zyron. Well, anyways, he's very nice. He had a lot of questions about sales taxes and I think we answered it. It's, this is an ever changing subject. So even if you think, you know, sales tax perfectly, I really recommend you subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications on because if something changes, you'll hear it here first. And you'll get to hear it from me. And I think I'll break it down easily for you. So if you have questions about this or anything, comment. You can email us. You can contact us. I do my best to respond to you guys, even though it's been pretty bad with, these, with the YouTube comments. I'm not, I've been a little late. But, <clears throat> you know, I'm running a tax firm over here. So, again, thanks so much for watching. And I will I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's very helpful for me, I think. Okay. Bye, everyone.